Yeah, okay, so whoever's out front, whoever's point person, all right, just make sure you're using a bit of common sense and selecting the safest route. Snow white. Woodland, no snow. Woodland, no snow. Ready. Contact one. Move. Prepare to move. Magazine! Trying to operate your weapon system with mitts on as well in a cold weather environment is going to slow you down massively. So all these little things that embarrass that extra time are going to help us out in the long run. Started all our, done all our occupation, we're going to then move on to our clearance patrols.
Yeah, I'm happy with that. You know me. Sap it. Operating in the cold is, is uncomfortable and it's hard work. Um, that old saying of, of, of being, get, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable absolutely ring, rings true out here. Um, and that's what the cold weather oper operators course is designed to do um, at the most basic level. Um, it's designed to get people out, introduce them to the, to the environment, use the cold weather kit and equipment and essentially be, be able to operate at the most basic level. One of the sort of priorities of survival, uh, building a shelter. So absolutely lucky in this in this environment, and that a lot of it is, is is forested. So there's tons of building materials there. Uh, the guys will go through building shelter. Uh, we do a short sort of uh, survival food lesson, um, and, and cover fires and also water. Um, down on the tactical side, uh, they'll cover tactical harbour. Uh, so digging in in, in the snow, um, creating a tactical harbour. Um, we'll cover uh, cam and concealment um, and also get the guys out conducting some basic uh, low level firing drills just to highlight the difficulty in manipulating a weapon system using gloves, using mittens um, and, and essentially having a, a practice out here in this environment. Mobility is probably the biggest thing that affects tactics the most uh, in the cold environment and of course sort of either side of the winter period uh, you've got those thawing conditions where absolutely everything just turns to mud uh, to slush and it becomes really difficult for, for guys to, to move about. It's it's cold, <laughs> it's been wet, it's not as cold as it could have been this time of year so uh, last week you know it was down to minus 15 whereas this week we've, we've had plus temperatures but with the rain which can sometimes be a lot worse so you, as soon as you get wet you become cold and if you don't keep moving it can be pretty treacherous so um, it has been cold. <laughs> But yeah, we'll, just, we'll get a fire on and we'll be fine later on. Everyone will be happy. <laughs> 